Cutting checks of $1,200 to taxpayers proved popular in March, but some financial experts doubt a second payment would truly benefit the economy. Getting a check is very popular. People like free things. They don't realize this isn't a free thing that they're gonna be getting. So I, th I think it's unfortunately gonna be very popular even though it's not good policy or economics. Matt Will with UND also believes an extension of expanded unemployment benefits to the end of the year would be bad policy for the same reason. It's not a good thing economically to incentivize people not to work. Not surprisingly, congressional Republicans and Democrats disagree on the merits of another stimulus bill with Republicans calling for a narrower focus. I don't think it's going to fly uh, and unless it's, you know, tailored down. It's a very strong bill that gives substantial help to the folks who need it most and it provides greater security for all. I think everybody came together in round one. It was a great thing. And now it's going to get highly political. And that's unfortunate. It should be done based on data and what the economy needs. For his part, Will believes helping cities and states offset a loss in tax revenue and incentivizing businesses to rehire employees when they reopen would be better than direct payments to all Americans. We do need another round. But the method by which we do that is very important. It needs to be strategic, it needs to be surgical, and we need to make sure it benefits the economy rather than hurts the economy. Jesse Wells, Fox 59 News. And we are working to answer your specific questions about the pandemic and how it's affecting you. We're hosting another coronavirus town hall that's looking at the economic impact of the